Hi everyone, this is Sahil from QuickNode and today in this video, we will see how we can set up Web3 Unity inside the Unity Editor so that you can create blockchain based games. So without any ado, let's jump into it. So the first thing what we will need to do is we will need to install the Unity Hub from unity.com slash download. Once you have the Unity Hub installed, open the app and what Unity Hub does is it helps you manage your projects and install dependencies, Unity Editor, etc. So if you're installing the Unity Hub for the first time, you won't have this Unity Editor installed. So to do that, go to Install Editor and install any of these LTS or long-term support versions. Do not install the Unity 6 because it's new and Web3 Unity might not work with them. So once you are installing, make sure to also select the WebGL build support along with your Unity editor because we will be seeing apps or sample apps built for browser and we need WebGL to run and build those apps. So let's go back and to create a new project, click on project, new project, select 2d core give your project a name let's name it video demo game select a location to save your project and then create project and while that is being created you can go to dashboard.gaming.chainsafe.io enter your email address click on the arrow now you need to create a project on chainsafe dashboard because it helps the chainsafe team to track your project across the ecosystem and support you better and once you have entered the verification code you will be taken to the dashboard just click on the plus sign create a project give your project a name so our project's name was video demo game you can name it anything but it's better to name it the same whatever you have named your unity project so that it's better and consistent project stage let's say building target platform for now browser because we will see sample apps to run in browser click on create project then you will get this project id which you will need to connect your unity project with the project built on this dashboard so now our project should be loaded as you can see it's loaded over here and a empty project will look like this so to install the chainsafe web3 unity sdk what you'll need to do is you'll need to go to the package manager which you can find under the window tab click on the package manager and then go back to the documentation page of chainsafe gaming which is at docs.gaming.chainsafe.io and over there go to the getting started page where you will find instructions or more information around how you can install the web3 unity sdk and we will need this git built url of the sdk because that is how we are going to install the package so once you're in the package manager click over here the plus sign then add package from git url again let me show you add package from git url and then paste the url which you copied from the documentation over here and then click on add and once the package is installed you will get a pop-up like this this is to configure your chain safe server where all of these configurations will be used throughout your application or so let's copy the project ID from here. Now go back to our pop-up, paste the project ID, and then select the chain. There are a bunch of chains available, but for the purpose of this demo, we will use Ethereum, Sepolia, chain ID is this, the symbol is this. And then you can select from the pre-configured RPCs, which usually will be public RPCs, but it's better to get your own RPC so that you never get rate limited or blocked because that RPC being down or overwhelmed. So I'm just going to quick note getting my 
Ethereum Sepolia RPC and then pasting it over here. And once I do that, I just need to close this, go back to my Unity editor, and while you are in the package manager, go to samples and then click on import because this will import the sample apps which comes pre-configured or pre-built in the Web3 Unity SDK. So to access the sample app, just go to the folder, scenes, and then these are the sample apps as you can see them. So this sample app is a MetaMask sample app. And uh, if you are importing or if you are using the sample app for the first time, the editor will ask you to import some more dependencies which are text mesh pro dependencies so let's import them so as you can see we have our metamask sample app over here and then we also have this sample main sample app over here which has a bunch of uh, functionalities built in for example ramp exchanger on ramp off ramp erc20 erc721 erc1155 ipfs etc so what we will do is we will be using the metamask sample app and the sample main sample app and make some edits to the sample main sample app and create our own app so let me first show you how these apps are built and can be used all right so we already have the metamask sample app over here let me drag the sample main sample app over here now the first sample app or the first scene will be the metamask sample app and the second scene will be the sample main sample app so to build this you need to go to file build settings and remember we install the webgl plugin so click on webgl switch platform add open seeds and it's asking us to install a webgl threading patcher dependency so let's install that as well unselect this default scene whatever you got in the unity editor and you can manage the flow of scenes from here for example, now the sample app scene is the first scene and the metamask scene is the second scene. But we want the metamask scene to be the first scene so that once we log in into metamask, we will see all of these functionalities like ERC20, ERC721, all of these. So let's go back to our build settings and then go to player settings. In player settings, under player resolution and presentation, you will need to select the WebGL template to be MetaMask. Close that to see how your application or project is looking like. You can just build and run so that this will build a local copy and run the application on localhost. So I'll just name this demo video build. You'll have to save the build as well on your computer so that it can run locally. So if you're building it for the first time, it will take some time. To build the project and run it at the time used to build and run the project depends on your system configuration all right so once the build is complete it will open up in a browser window whatever your default browser is on a localhost port so this was our sample application and this was our first scene metamask login scene so if we click on login with metamask it should open a metamask window and uh, ask you to sign the pop-up and this was our second scene so this is how you can configure the chain safe web3 unity sdk and use the sample apps and by using this edited the default sample app and created a different version of it to, to show you how you can use this in a actual game so let's first close this build and before seeing the other app let's just explore the scripts so if we go to this script it'll open up in a visual studio window which again comes pre-configured with unity and as you can see for erc721 which is this element over here so you can see there are different functions for balance of for owner of for owner of patch to get the uri mint tokens transfer tokens etc once you have those scripts you need to attach your unity elements with that script so for example let's 
look at this element. So as you can see, this button has a on click function, which will invoke the mint ERC721 function, which is this function over here. So this is how you create elements in Unity editor and then attach them with scripts or functions. So let's close this example, go back to our Unity Hub, open the other demo project, which I have already configured. So as you can see over here, I have an example of a scene where it can be a choose your avatar scene in a game where you choose your avatar and then that avatar gets minted to your account. So let's take a look at this example and then understand how that's working. So I'll name the build as game login build, save it and it's building the scenes. So as you can see, our build has completed and loaded in the browser window. Let's log in using our wallet. Make it full screen. As you can see, these are the avatar options. And let's say that I want to mint um, this third one. So if I click on that, Tux will ask us for signature. Let's confirm that. Go back. Transaction is pending. In a game scenario, a user won't look at transactions, but this is just for us to understand and uh, check out whether the transaction is completed or not. So as you can see, the transaction is completed. So now our wallet should have this as the latest minted NFT. Go to testnet.rarible.com, which is an NFT marketplace, which can be used to view your NFTs. So I have already logged in to my account. The latest one should be that saving NFT. Okay, so as you can see, this is the NFT which we just minted. We can view it on Etherscan. So as you can see, the token ID was 116. And yes, the token ID is 116 over here. So this is the NFT which we minted. It has a name. The character has a name. It has description. So this is the description. So now let's look at what the code for this looks like. So if we go back to Unity Editor, open the script. So it's very basic. We are just importing a bunch of dependencies, then initializing our public class, then creating a variable contract address for this contract address, which is a already deployed contract address by the Web3 Unity or ChainSafe team. And it comes pre-configured. So as you can see, we are importing the built-in contracts over here. So we do not need to initialize the contract or add APIs, etc. And then we are just providing with the URI string, which is the content identifier of the NFT metadata. And then what I have done is I have already deployed the metadata files along with the image files on Quicknode IPFS. So if you take a look at this metadata, copy the IPFS URL. This is the third NFT which we just minted. The name is saving. This is the description and this is the image URL. And the good thing with Quicknode IPFS is that you also get gateway built in so that you do not have to worry about public gateways or use any other gateway. You get everything in just one platform. And if you take a look at another NFT, this is a different one. So this is another NFT, it's Skitty, which is the second one. So if you open the image, you will see that it's this one. Going back to our script, we have the URI over here, which is just the content identifier of the metadata file uploaded on IPFS. And then we are initializing our mint function over here and then passing the arguments, then printing outputs on console. And similar to this, we have other files for other NFTs. And this is just an example. That's why you would see unusual file names, but I have just edited the sample app from Web3 Unity team but you can name the files anything and then have them added to your Unity objects. So this is how you can create your own applications or 
own games or own game scenes using Web3 Unique. It comes pre-configured with some sample ads, some sample smart contracts so that you can get started easily. So hope you learned something from this video. Like this video, subscribe to the Victor YouTube channel and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.